with Paul C. Kala. Hi, Paul. Hey, thanks a lot. The Arizona Wildcats are renewing a rivalry in basketball that dates back to the Border Conference and the WAC, and it all goes down at one of the toughest venues to play in in all of college hoops. We are talking the pit in Albuquerque against the New Mexico Lobos. Tip-off for Saturday's showdown is at 6 p.m. Tucson time. Arizona leads the all-time series with New Mexico 35 to 31, and Arizona is carrying a four-game winning streak this season as we speak. Heading into the matchup in the town affectionately called El Burque by many locals. Besides team preps, Wildcats student athletes are also working their way through final exams at the U. So, how's it going so far, Ira Lee? It's going all right. It's uh, everything I expected. You know, it's a lot of work, a lot of late nights, but it's almost over, thank God. Yeah, basketball is like a getaway for, from school. You know, it takes your mind off of things, you know, a stressful grade or a stressful project. No, you know, the focus right now um, is on our players' academic lives. You know, they're no different than any student that's here. Uh, they're in finals week. They're, you know, finishing up final exams, final papers. There's a lot of stress, a lot of time spent, you know, as much as you, uh, you want guys to work ahead. Everybody's done it at some point that's gone to college, and that is, you know, you wait till the end, and there's some really long nights and heavy days where you're you're focused on finishing that one class or raising the grade. All right. Meanwhile, Coach Adia Barnes and the Lady Wildcats take the court against Hawaii this Sunday. Tip off in Mikhail Center, set for 2 p.m. Plenty of tickets still available. Arizona coming off an 83-44 beatdown of the New Mexico State Aggies in Thursday's game. Jalea Bennett. Had another big scoring matchup. In fact, she averages almost 22 points in the last four games. Hey, two of the NFL's most tradition-rich franchises and, frankly, two of the most popular teams among many Tucson natives will be battling it out this Sunday night right here on NBC. We are talking the Dallas Cowboys and the Oakland Raiders. Cowboys are winners of two straight, while Oakland's coming off a bit of a slump. So what's it going to take to get on the winning side again and make a run at a conference title? Just go out there, man, and cut it loose and play. And that's... That's something I'm looking forward to. You know, we're only promised, you know, three more. And, uh, you know, I can, I can assure you, I'm going to go out there and let it rip, man, because that's what the head coach wants. That's what he's asking us to do. So I'm going to go out there and give it everything I have. Hey, we're far from over with After the Break. More sports, including former U of A football standout Rob Gronkowski. He speaks out for the first time since his one-game suspension for the late hit you see right there. And you'll see how he gets upset with the media and just walks out of the press conference. But why? More sports, more energy, and less cheap shots and late hits. Next. Come on.